Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 6. Now we're going to be starting off with Tomahawk Man and I have a small thing I want to mention in this episode is I didn't post one this morning because I've kind of been thinking is I wanted to try and get all 10 classic Mega Man games out before Mega Man 11's release in October. But I can't do that. I don't have enough time to do that. So, and I'm also, like I really do love Mega Man 6 and I've already played the game. And I have everything recorded up to Mega Man 8. All that's all recorded, except, um, oh, now we have Jet Mega Man, who can fly. I need to mention that real quick. Um, the little life bar is constantly refills after you land, but you can always, um, you know, you can keep flying as long as that's there. But, um, I want to be doing different projects. So I'm going to be doing, um, either Metroid or The Legend of Zelda. If you guys want to vote on which one I could do, go ahead. And I'm going to get both episodes ready to go, depending on which one gets chosen. Or both. Now, I'm going to upload Mega Man regularly. I'll go ahead and upload at least one until I have all those gone every day. But Mega Man 9 and 10, I need to practice a bit more because they're the ones I have the least of experience with. So I want to get a bit more because those I have a bit of an idea that I want to use. And by that, I mean... um. I want to switch characters every episode, not every boss. So, like, in Mega Man 9, every three bosses I take down with Mega Man, then the next episode I'll be playing as Proto Man. And that's going to take a bit of setup, and with how Proto Man plays the game, I'm not used to that yet. And that's going to be the same in Mega Man 10 with Proto Man and Base, and how different they play. So, they'll be uploaded every day, and then either The Legend of Zelda or Metroid will be getting uploaded every day that I have off from my job, which. It's going to be a little sporadic, because I don't have a set day off. And here we have a split path, so I'm going to take the bottom one first, and then I'm going to rewind the game back to take that other split path. So, yeah. These are where the paths reconnect, so I'll meet you guys back at the other path. Give me just one sec. Okay. Now, if you use Jet Mega Man, you can get up to that extra ladder, and then you can take this path which has a little bit more extra goodies. But yeah, like I was saying, um, if you guys want to vote... Oh, that was a risky move. But yeah, if you guys want to like, just say in the comments, would you rather watch me play um, The Legend of Zelda, starting with the original on the NES, or Metroid Zero Mission? I've never beaten... I've played the original Metroid, but I've never been able to beat it. So I'm going to be doing um, that. And because I can't record um, GBA or 3DS games yet, I will be doing um, AM2R and not the Metroid 2 remake or the original Metroid 2 just as a heads up but yeah if you guys want to see one of those and here we have another split path because I'll explain after we defeat Tomahawk Man but yeah hopefully you guys will pick one and I'll play either Metroid or The Legend of Zelda whatever you guys want starting with the first game and yeah <laughs> hopefully you guys will enjoy that and after I beat one, I'm going to immediately switch to the other. So, like, after I defeat, um... And there's a, something, a secret in there. I'll show it off after I complete this path. Except the top path you don't want to take. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to do... Like, if I do Metro Force, I'll do Zelda afterward. But back to Mega Man 6. Enough of that rambling. But, yeah, you don't want to take this boss room, and I'm going to rewind back to that extra path on the top. Is... In, uh, Tomahawk Man... Nightman, Yamato Man, and Centaur Man stages, they have two alternate paths. And they require having either the Jet Adapter or the Power Adapter. So, I don't know why I completely, like, stopped what I was doing. It was probably because I was running, but I'm just trying to get back to here. So, you need either the Jet or Power Adapter to get the other one. Well, in Tomahawk Man stage, you need the Power Adapter, or not the Power, the Jet Adapter to get to the other path. So you could fight Tomahawk Man in his alternate room. And here... Proto Man is giving us an item. And Proto Man gives you the energy balancer. Which, so, if you have... Like, right now, if I was to pick up an energy pellet as normal Mega Man or Jet or Power Mega Man, it would um, automatically fill up Flame Blast. It wouldn't just go to waste. And it's a good item to have... And I don't recall, but I believe it was also in Mega Man 5. I just don't recall if it was. 100%. But yeah, here you want to use Jet Mega Man. 
I'm gonna use Jet Mega Man. Okay, apparently I'm trying to take him out first. But yeah, you want to use Jet Mega Man to get across these gaps so that way you don't fall in the pit. Because there's no way to make it otherwise. They make sure of that. That was another, like, dumb risk move. So yeah, Tomahawk Man stage is just kind of your average, um... Well, it's, it's Western America, it's supposed to be. Which doesn't really make much sense, but hey. And yeah, that's Tomahawk Man stage. I haven't really been explaining because I've been explaining stuff that I'm going to do with the... Uh, with other games. I probably just should have update like posted an update video but hey I don't do things like a normal person and Tomahawk Man is weak to the plant barrier who will win Tomahawk or plants well obviously plants now you only have so many hits like every one of you do Tomahawk Man is one use of the plant barrier so you only have like I believe it's seven hits to take some down I believe everything, every boss dies in seven hits to their weakness. But I could be mistaken. And actually, here's a fun fact that I forgot to show off, but in Tomahawk Man, Yamato Man, Centaur Man, and Nightman stages, and DUCK! Why is Mega Man trying to kill me? I'm also probably freaking a lot of people out because they don't know I'm recording audio and I just am yelling DUCK across my whole house. Uh, on to Yamato Man, because he's weak to the Tomahawk Man. But yeah, you've seen the B on Tomahawk Man stage. That means we have the B, B, the beat, B parts. It's hard to say. Try saying that ten times fast. But yeah, like I was saying, the backgrounds can change colors on a revisit. I didn't need to revisit. I'm just sitting right here for some reason. But I didn't need to revisit any of the stages, because I'm just that good. And I should have showed it off, but because of the wrong line mechanic, I didn't. Even though they all have alternate paths. And everyone except Tomahawk Man has a different stage arena. Like, you can fight them in a different type of area that they're not normally in. Anyway, onto this first path here that you need the power adapter to get into. So let's wreck some stuff. I probably shouldn't have tried eating that. And here we have a giant frog? I don't know why this is here. Well, I guess, um... I guess it would make sense in Japanese culture and something that I'm missing or have forgotten. Because I'm trying to think. And the closest thing I could think of is yokai, but that's turtles. But this is where the path meets, so I'll meet you guys back at the path split. One sec. Okay, now that we're back at the path split. Why do I keep destroying that block? And now that we're back at the path split, time to go up the ladder. And see what's in store. And as you can see, I love using the flame blast. That's why I would have to flame at first. Because it's so powerful. Like, it just wrecks everything easily. Now, I never take this path, usually. I always go through the second path, because it's easier to me. And these bugs always drop those bombs right before you. They'll never drop it on you. It's always right before you, so if you just stand still when they come up, they'll just pass right over you, and the explosion won't even touch you. And here we have a special enemy that was in Mega Man 5. Except he's not really as threatening and is a bit different, and I destroyed him like three hits. Or one, I'm not exactly sure. And here we are back at the plat, the plath. It's the plath. I now have a, I now have a lisp. I'm sorry to people who have lisps. I'm just making fun of myself. And here we have another path split. Up the ladder is where you want to go if you want to take on Yamato Man and get the B E parts. And this is where you go if you don't have the jet adapter and fish. But, you know, I gotta show, I gotta, well, I don't really have to, but I want to, to show off both paths. So that's what I did. And there's a path connect there. There's a, there's a place we can fall down where you fall into this area, should you mess it up. It's a And there's the boss door, so I'll meet you guys back at the path split. One sec. Okay. Now that we're back at the path, path split up to the top ladder 
And I am going to show that if you fall, it does connect the paths. So I'm going to do that. I just got to take this guy down now. But yeah, and I'm not going to cut it out, but I'm going to rewind so that way I don't have to, like, you know, do everything. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little tired. Better question is, when am I, when am I not tired? Yeah, so if you fall down here, you have all this stuff. So let's just pretend that never happened because rewinding is a thing. So yeah. I mean, if they had given you Rush Jet or Rush Coil, you could easily make the stuff where you need Rush Rush Jet Adapter. But at the same time, having a rocket pack is way more fun than a flying dog that you've had for the past th two, three games. And I love Rush, but I wish I had both. That here's the about a bit, but I wish I had both instead of just the one. And he's weak to the Silver Tomahawk. Now, for some reason, I have a lot of trouble with this fight because I can't dodge his spears properly. But he's really easy, except, you know, I'm just bad at game. <laughs> his Yamato spear that flies at me is just like... It's not too fast. It's just I never can see it coming in time. So I always get hit by it every single duck! Oh! Oh! I just slammed my chin into the desk. Ow. We now have the Yamato Spear. And be beat E parts. And I think I broke my jaw. I don't know if you guys heard that. Ow! I know some people who are going to laugh at that. That really hurt. Anyway, on to Nightman. I'll live. I, should, I need to stop whining. So yeah, now I have access. And Nightman, I'm not going to be a normal person and fight him with his weakness that I just collected. I'm going to fight him like an idiot. And I'm going to fight him with the power adapter because you'll see me fight him with the regular weakness. And besides, why not take on a challenge, right? And I think, as you can see, like, Mega Man 6 is where I use my power my power ups the most. Like, oh, don't do it, me. No, it was, this was a bad idea. I made it, though. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to rush. I think this is what I was thinking of back in the last episode with Blizzard Man stage, where I tried to gun it at the spikes. That was a bad idea, because if I didn't get hit, I probably wouldn't have made it. And it probably would have killed me. But it can also kill you via, via crushing. So, I don't know exactly if I did or didn't make it. And here you could just use the Rush Jet Adapter and skip this part. But, you know, I gotta I gotta be able to do these things. I can't just, you know, give up and, and take the easy way out. You gotta do things the hard way. You really don't, but I like to because it's a bad idea. You, you'll notice in these games, like, especially Mega Man, I am, I'm risky. I would rather... I'd rather risk it where I have to restart a huge section of the game just to see if I can make it. Like if it's if it's um me and a boss and we're at the same amount of health and it becomes a fight of who could take who could take who down first, I'm always like, "Yes, let's go for it." I don't need strategy. You're going down. Like, that's how I work. So you guys will probably see me... That's probably why I end up dead a lot, is because of how reckless I am. Is I don't care about my health. I'm just like, I'm getting to the end of the stage. Whether you want me to or not, game. And here I fail a lot, but you know, you're bouncing around and I try to punch these guys. Because you can actually talk, take them out. And I, did ma I made one. And I missed the second. And he hit me. And Nightman Stage doesn't really have a split path, it's just like, there's the door. And then, you know, you just come down here for the other door. So yeah, Nightman Stage is fairly straightforward without any split paths that you have to worry about. You just need to have the power adapter. And I'm going to take him on with the power adapter because, you know, I'm just that good. I kind of hesitated here and was about to use the M Yamato Sphere, but then I was like, no, no, gotta use the power adapter. Power Mega Man all the way. Now watch how this fight ends. In horribly, horribly wrong. Seriously though, this boss music is very underwhelming, especially for someone like Nightman, who's one of my favorites in this game, in Mega Man 6, and especially Battle Network. Look, I don't even, I don't even need to jump. Like he just comes at me, I run under him, 
Like, no jumping needed, I just punch him. Now, the Yamato Spear goes straight through his shield, but like, come on, you can't touch me! Come on, Nightman, I thought you were good! I thought you, I thought you fought with the knight, knight attitude, and he can't touch me. I, I should start playing this song like, you can't touch this, but I think that would just be a little, um, going too far. I mean, just spam on the fire button because I did it. I was awesome. I might actually do like a special thumbnail for this episode with the Power Mega Man. But at the same time, probably not because, you know. Duck! Night Crush and the B A beat A parts. I keep, I keep saying B. And Night Crush is a great weapon. I highly recommend it. But since that was the third boss, I will see you guys in the next episode where we take down the last two and storm Mr. X's castle in the next video. See you guys later. And please let me know what your thoughts are on Metroid and Zelda. Later.